All right, what's up, everybody? My name is Yosis. This is Dustin. Yep. This is our new YouTube channel uh, where we will be discussing mostly topics about the Phoenix Suns, but other major news around the NBA as well. Today, we want to discuss Tyler Eulis being an elite starting point guard in the NBA. Is the is the hero here? Marquise Chris. Like Tyler Eulis, uh, isn't really a great starter, but he's a good, solid bench player. Um, he is averaging. 12.8 points per game, 3.5 rebounds per game, and 9.1 assists per game. Efficiency isn't really that good. He's shooting 13% on um, three points and under 40% on the field. I just feel that he doesn't have, you know, the height limits him from like going inside the paint. I think he will be an excellent uh, point guard for the Phoenix Suns. He always shown the ability that he can pass the ball. He has incredible handles and obviously amazing court vision as he is averaging 9.1 assists through his eight starts. In my opinion, I feel like he, sh he just shouldn't be a starting point guard at right all. Now. At all. Like ever? Like would you, you just keep him as a bench for, for now and put Bledsoe in? Bledsoe, um, he would make the Suns win though. Exactly. And we need to Don't lose mean, why? to get a higher pick in the draft. But in the future, I don't. I feel like Tyler Eulis would be better than Bledsoe. Still you don't, don't think, think so? so? No, I still think Bledsoe. Bledsoe. I feel I just the experience but, more than he's but Bledsoe is literally old. I think he's already 28 years old the time the Suns get good he's gonna be out of his prime and Tyler Eulis will be right in there he's a perfect position to to help a struggling team like the Suns mature so he can go with Booker Chris and himself can all mature together including Bender I, a good thing is about Tyler Eulis if we still keep him on you know we're still gonna keep losing we might get the second pick in the draft so you want him right now so we can well, lose. Well, that, I know that makes sense. That makes sense. You know, it's yeah, just, yeah. I kind of do and I kind of don't mm -hmm. at the same time. Because I still want the Suns to win. But then I still want a better choice in yeah. the draft so we can become better as a team next year. So in the draft, if we do get the second pick, you think we should draft a point guard or a small forward? I say small it, forward. So, so, in my opinion. So you would be okay with you starting then? I, I, uh, I don't know. Probably. Don't know, probably. The thing with his shooting, though, that in college, he did shoot higher percentages. He shot 37% from three, 46 from the field, and 84% from the free throw line. So he can shoot. He just has, he has to get accustomed to it in the NBA. So my overall status on Ty Yu is I think he should start for the Suns in the future, and I think he could be a solid point guard. Thanks for listening. Uh, this YouTube channel will consist of us doing cha basketball challenges, talking about the Phoenix Suns, and other major news around the NBA. If you liked what you saw, please Stay tuned. like and subscribe. Stay tuned. Thank you.